See the brothers, when they say they want to get to know you, you females, when they want to get to know us, us women, females, girls, whatever. We forget that <laughs> getting to know us, getting to know you as a female, it has nothing to do with giving off the cookie, man. It doesn't. If you don't agree with me, like I said, I don't come here to make video to force anybody to listen to me or consider what I'm saying. Live your life. See, when you agree to give your number to a guy, to get to know him, for him to get to know you. That's the first step of dating, okay? If you get to know a guy, don't give your body to him. You know why? Because you're limiting yourself. You're limiting yourself. Mm -hmm. Ask me how. How fair? You're limiting yourself because soon as you lay down there and spread your legs, he's starting to feel that you are mine now. You're my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Because I now enter your body, you're my girlfriend. See the thing about getting sexually involved with somebody is that for some reason, it creates some kind of covenant that makes the person feel that it should just be me and you now. We're committed to each other. You're now my girlfriend. I'm now, I'm now your boyfriend. But how can you jump to that level when you don't even know him and he doesn't even know you? Get my point? Give yourself the opportunity to walk away from a guy or a girl without regrets, okay? Because the thing about dating and establishing a good friendship with that person without getting sexually involved is that you give yourself the opportunity to find out a lot of things, okay? You may get to find out what kind of diseases the person has. If you do, and you never have sex with that person, you have nothing to regret. Ever heard of people killing somebody else because that person exposed them to some kind of deadly STD? They got burned? Or HIV, worst case scenario? Give yourself the opportunity. So at least you can, you can have a little cushion to get to find out some things. When you're dating, it's time to establish a very dependable friendship without the sexual aspect going on. Okay? And another thing that's good about getting to know a guy and not giving your body is that if he had some kind of hidden and quitted motive, Trust me, he's not going to hang around for too long. He's not going to hang around for too long. He'll be gone. Matter of fact, have you ever noticed that guys who have, who don't have plans to stick around, they're always, you know, they're always wishy-washy. They're always wishy-washy. They're really never direct about telling you anything substantial about y'all being together. Females, y'all stop doing that. Okay, stop doing that. Because as long as you tell that guy, say, I don't know you, you don't know me, we're still dating, and I want to feel free to date other people, you will give yourself the leverage, the opportunity to pick a man who is really, really serious about you. At least you retain your dignity, your value, and your respect as a female. Then you don't have too many guys talking about, yeah, I already hate that. Mm -hmm, she was easy. Y'all stop messing up the whole dating idea. Stop messing it up. Give yourself the opportunity to know whether this person is a beast, is the criminal, or even if he want to stick around. Or even if he's married. Give yourself the opportunity to get to know him. And somebody else too. Don't let nobody tie you down. 
especially if you're not engaged to him or married to him if that man not put a ring on your finger yet my dear don't be spreading your legs for him has he proven to you that he's the right one for you do you understand him do you know him have you hung out with him long enough to understand how much compatibility compatibility between both of y'all to understand how much chemistry you have to understand his family to understand his history to understand his mentality to understand his motive for you get to know him without giving him your body we all need to understand dating okay when you're dating somebody you shouldn't obligate yourself to commit to having sex why why you're not even saying no the person here then you're getting laid with a person why 